So, Darren Lawrence, you're the man behind <laughs> everything that's happened. Yep. Um, we'll talk about the results later, but yes, just yes. to have these two boys, Factory Honda 450, yep. both champions. Yep. Did you have a moment today or yesterday that this was like a dream come true, really? Uh, yes. I, I probably because my mum and dad are here and there so it's probably more relevant for them to go you yeah. know they know where I, where I came from where I grew up yeah. so probably a little bit more in the last few weeks because my dad's 83 so he's like okay. wow I never thought like it's a big yeah. thing we I grew up on a farm out in the middle of Australia so it's pretty opposite to what we grew up doing you know so yeah, yeah it has been they've been probably making me remember a little more mm -hmm. but uh, but other than that it's it's the 450 class is no jokes, there's a lot of work, so you're really trying to focus what brain cells you have on <laughs> making sure you've crossed your T's and, smart. Yeah, crossed your T's and dotted your I's on everything, you know. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll, we've got a little bit of work to do. Our bikes weren't the best today, that's for okay. sure. So we've got a little bit more work to do and dial them in, and uh, hopefully we'll be better next weekend. It's a bit of a contrast jet delivered under the moment. 100%. Got to be proud. Yeah, big time. He's, under uh, pressure and the hype and all that in the background. Uh, he's exceptional, that kid. He is exceptional. So I hope, uh, I hope people now will just realise that and go, wow, this kid isn't uh, racing a, a depleted field like last exactly, year they were yeah, talking yeah. about. Like They're just trying to find excuses and trying to find things to go, oh, he's not that great. Guess what, motherfuckers? <laughs> he is. So, uh, so yeah, suck it up. I've never seen, or very rarely seen, someone so much. It's like he's 40 years old and already had a career on the bike. Yep. This decision... I kind of like him. I was talking to Jason Wagon yesterday. Yep. He's a style of Stefan Everts, the cold mind of Jeremy McGrath, and the almost the hidden ruthlessness of Ricky Carmichael. Yep. That's a top trio. That's yeah, like a combination of three of the greatest. A thousand percent. And uh, yeah, we've learned a lot, obviously, and that's why, as brothers, they're so close. Mm -hmm. you know, Hunter's taught him so much in what the mistakes he's made. Yeah. And then, obviously, having Johnny O'Mara. Johnny O worked with Ricky, worked with yeah. James, so then he can bring up, hey, Ricky was really good at this. Okay. James was unbelievably fast, but he probably should have backed it down some races. Mm -hmm. You don't need to win by 20 seconds, you can win yeah. by one. You know, so that was why in the motocross, Jet would just do what he had to do, you know? <laughs> People don't see what he does at home on a practice track, because <laughs> he doesn't have to pull that stuff out. Right, race I heard time. he was absolutely on it this yeah. winter, so. Yeah. yeah, so he's, and he's just had that more time on that bike, and he's just gonna get only better. And we're going to dial that bike in because sadly the previous pilots who were on this bike did not dial the bike in at all so we had to start from scratch right, bloody yeah. Bad, yeah. and we've gotten the bike a lot better but we've we just haven't had the time to get it to where we want to get it so we'll we'll go to work now the season started and uh we'll get that thing even better hunter i felt sorry for him yeah <laughs> i think it was vince freeze like yeah. he didn't he didn't do much wrong no. just two bad starts and can't yeah. get in the so how yeah. competitive yeah. the field is yeah, exactly. but how is he mentally fine because he knows he's got the speed he, or just devastated he's just he pissed because yeah. his head hit the ground pretty hard on that heat race so he's got a fair yeah. bit of swelling in okay. front of his forehead so he had a thumping headache and he wasn't feeling the greatest so it was just <laughs> one of those nights it just wasn't going to work out so uh, yeah that's how it goes you know um so you were talking about the training there you had stefan everts harry everts and gps yes ken roxon's dad had influence now yes. as you mentioned johnny o'mara yeah from your side, that's so smart as well, being connected to all those guys and for Jet and Hunter to learn, you're learning from the best for sure. guys and it's probably a bit of a shortcut then yeah. to success as well. Let's talk about that road to get there from Definitely. all the trainers. Um, Stefan wasn't a great deal when we worked with Stefan because he was running the team. Okay. So it was more a bit of Popper, Popper oh, Harry. Yeah. You know, we had a lot to do with Harry, but I was always, all their technique and their style was all done before they got to Europe. Like okay. I was big on that type of stuff. And then what we learned from Harry was just like your minutes on the track and your training programs, because you're obviously just an amateur, you yeah. know, you're a privateer yeah. and you yeah. go. So that's what we learned is those work, work ethics there. And then Johnny O was the same. Like when I hired Johnny O, because Hunter and I were trying to work the Supercross thing out, and, mm -hmm. and we just weren't learning it fast enough. And Hunter was obviously okay. having the issues. We we're trying to yeah. do 70 minutes of Supercross. You yeah, know, he's a guinea it's, pig again. And that yeah, you know, we're yeah. overworking. He was getting tired. We're like, oh, we're just going to use. So we made a lot of mistakes, and I got Johnny O in, and he was, he just simplified it. He was like, okay. Hunter and Jed are so technical. And he just tell Jet, hey, just put your front wheel on each whoop, Jet. That's all you got to do. And it was so simple, and yeah. that's why Jet just you know, kept learning and getting better. So it was just, once again, poor mistakes that we made, yeah. you know. So 
um, reading Stefan's book, Harry was really hard on him to the point yes. that if he won a race, he didn't even praise him. He yep. pointed out the mistakes he made. Yes. Is yes. that how he was with you guys, or is he a wee bit softer no, because no. it wasn't? Same. Same? Same, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, I'd ride for Stefan again. Would you? Because yeah. he's won to win. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no problems with those, those people, good people, and just do whatever they have to do to win. So, no, he was, I like like working with Stefan. So, I have this question in my head. Where did the talent of these two boys come from? Do you ever think 20 years ago I could have been racing Stefan Everett? I must be born with a talent that no had. <laughs> I've always been uh, good at anything I did with sports. Yeah. Like in Australia, it was I played cricket and tennis. Did you? So I always got okay. to state level and country level on, right. on those sorts of things. But we had a big farm, and so my mum and dad were a bit old school. It was like, okay. oh, you know, we won't make money playing sport. You've got to work on the farm. So I sort of had to come back to a working thing, and I never, for, as I got older, I went, Wow, like I, I could have got somewhere. And yeah. then my wife was uh, like national uh, netball, so she's right, very coordinated okay. and very competitive as well. So we probably both got pretty good genes, mm -hmm. and then uh, and obviously not shy of working. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just finally on jet. I was at Red Sand at on his first EMX T50 race. He didn't. No way! He, he didn't qualify. He didn't qualify. Yes, right? that's correct. But I remember what he looked about twelve. He did. Yeah. Um, I remember still looking see him now coming over a tabletop on the bike control, all the size of him, setting the bike down ahead yeah. of all. And the, the guys he's racing are pretty decent. Martin yes. Barb was on me. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. By the end of the year, he was winning, and he was 14, and it, he looked like he expected it. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. So, and every step he's had to take from then, he's such a fast winner. He is. Like his, and obviously his bike control, but he's such a, he where is. does that come from? Where? And he does, he, he He's explosive because he's a fast twitch body, but right. he does, he learns so fast. Hunter's more of a rhythmic, systematic. He's got to right. go through a process to get there, and that's just the way his makeup is, yeah. you know? And he's used to doing it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, Jet learns, man. Like, he's a dang, I'd hate to race the toad because he just, if he makes a mistake, you're just like, crap, he ain't going to probably do that again. <laughs> that's even last year. Was it about Morris? He had. He said he had to. He made a suspension change. Had to learn how to ride the bike before he caught Ken. Yes. And at the nations, had to figure everything out. Last moto under pressure, delivered again. Yeah. Like that's yeah. just that's. He is so, that's extra special. And on paper, he's as dumb as rocks. <laughs> but on a motorcycle and in, and and we call it street smart. Yeah. You know, like yeah, clever. Yeah, and, and just processes things really quick. Yeah, that, that's why, I, yeah, it's really well described. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, for anyone out there that the school said you were dumb as rocks, there's hope. I promise, yeah. I promise you. <laughs> Brilliant, Darren, thank you very much, and congratulations on everything you've achieved yourself. Brilliant. Thank you.